So this is a video on how to do a porcupine quill bracelets, which is one of the kits that I offer uh, within my business called Migma Art Experience. So I'm just going to jump right into it here. This is a hard plastic that's in your kits, and this is what you want to create right here. So you're gonna, what you're gonna do is you're gonna grab each quill, and you're gonna wrap it around the plastic. So I'm just gonna give you an example of like a couple here. So I'm gonna dig through and grab, um, grab a good size quill. So I would go with, let's say this one. All right. So this is how you would start it. You're going to put the sharp part down like this and hold it in place with your um, thumb. And then you're going to begin to wrap and you're going to wrap down that sharp edge that you're, you're, you bent in. So once you do that, you're going to cut the edge off into your water of quills. Like you have to soak your quills. And then you're going to grab another quill and you're going to stick it inside of piece you just cut so here I go once you get it in there good you're gonna continue wrapping it it's not an easy process so there it is it's in there and I'm gonna continue wrapping that around And I tried to make my cuts all on one side. So as you can tell, it's all going to be on this side right here where it's cut. Because later on when you glue it, you don't want that to um, show. So on the back side of this is where it's all going to be cut. So then you cut into your water. You always want to do that because those little pieces are sharp and they could get stuck in you. And that's just not healthy for anybody. So stick it in there. And then you're going to wrap it. So you're going to continue that process all the way to the top. To the other end and when you get there I'll show you here you're gonna just take a dab of um, of uh, glue now what you could do is you could slide it under there to tuck it but what I'm gonna do just because we're beginners <laughs> is I'm gonna put that there and then I'm gonna roll it and I'm gonna hold it in spot like that and then not let it stick there but and then once it's like this that is how I have this part up here as you can tell it's a little cleaner so it's just gonna be like that so once you got this process all done what you want to do is you want to glue it to this white piece of flexi firm so I'm gonna grab my my um, hot glue gun I'm going to quickly put one line of glue just not too much right on there I'm going to put it right in the middle and I'm going to hold it there and this little end right here you can cut that off once you're you get to this spot so just chop it like that <clears throat> and what this is now the next next part is to whip stitch this piece down the reason why is because when you start to turn it if it's only glued there's going to be like holes in here like and this is the reason why I I whip stitch it so I threaded my needle and I'm just going to go down like this I'm sorry how I'm holding it it's like I have my phone in front of my face and it's not easy <laughs> so if you are having issues seeing or I'm tilting it funny that's the reason why so that's basically all I'm doing is I'm whip stitching that down to the white piece of flexi firm so I'm you do you do it pretty closely I'm not going to finish all the way just because I want to show you guys how to do that but you go all the way to the end the next thing you want to do is you have this piece here 
So I cut it this down earlier to the size I wanted it to be. So for example, like you take this and you measure it around your wrist or the person you want and you leave about that much space on the inside. So I'm going to cut this down like so. And then I'm going to glue it to this piece of leather and I'm going to glue it like right in the middle so that there's pieces on the edge here to go over. So I'm going to go and I'm going to be generous here with my glue. All right. And then put it right down. And then I have a pair of um, zigzag scissors that I'm going to use to cut the edging. So you could cut it however you want. If you just want it to be straight, do that. But I'm just going to do one side here that's going to be uh, a zigzag and the other side I'm just going to put straight so and the reason why you leave these ends like this is because you want to have um, a place where to put your tie So once that's cut, you're going to glue a little spot here and a little spot there, and you're going to flip these in. This one there and this one there, and that creates little loops on the end so that you can put a string or... So there you go, I, I just glued it in like that. And then I'm going to cut the them straight and there you have it you're finished your bracelet it's a quick little demonstration for you